Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and two things are happening today. One is an official announcement from Microsoft about Windows 11 availability to people that have Windows 10 and will be compatible to upgrade to Windows 11. So the update, I'll say it again because a lot of people are asking this question, is free of charge. You, there's no fee to upgrade to Windows 11. But you will have to meet the minimum requirements that they now are asking. And one of the main reasons of the minimum requirements is they don't want to have to deal with old hardware when they're actually making the operating system. The TPM requirement, for a lot of people don't understand, but TPM is a security feature. It is a way to increase security within an operating system and that's why they actually require 2.0 a lot of people are linking to an old microsoft page that says 1.2 they have changed that it's 2.0 there was that was a mistake and for those that are going crazy over tpm once again your your cpu is much more of a problem you probably won't be able to update because your cpu is too old if your cpu meets the requirements you, you have TPM. All Intel and AMD processors of that generation that they're asking for and later all have it included within the chip. It's just not activated. Stop worrying and thinking you might need to buy a TPM chip. You don't. The other thing is the release for Windows 10 people. Okay, If you're a user of Windows 10 and have the desire to move on to Windows 11 when it is released Microsoft today has actually said it's going to happen early 2022 don't expect this this year for Windows 10 users so for the rest of the year we're on Windows 10 Windows 10 users only at the beginning of the year they're going to start rolling it out for the first half of 2022 that was what everybody pretty much was hearing and now it's confirmed officially by Microsoft under Windows Twitter page. You can get the preview now if you're an insider. So those that are not insiders, Windows Insider program is where you test out future versions of Windows. It's officially released today. The Windows Insider team has released the build 22000.51. I'm installing it right now on my Insider machine. It is for insiders in the dev channel. So an insider, I have to say, if you are tempted to go here to test this out, an insider means you will be testing unfinished beta software. It could be problematic. You might have problems. I don't recommend it. If, if the first question you're going to ask here as a comment is, should I go to the insider program? You already, ask your, you already answered the question. No, you shouldn't. People that, that, that want to test Windows 11 right now, they know they want to go there. If you don't know how to reinstall Windows, you definitely don't want to go there. And remember that you could have tons of problems that should not be on the main machine you use every day. And simple uh, way to get there, the Windows Insider program, you simply go to the um, settings. You go into Update and Security. On the bottom left, you'll see Windows Insider program. You click here and you click the Get Started button here. You will need a Microsoft account. And once you log in, you restart the machine. What you do is you go back to the Windows Update page and click Check for Updates. And you'll see the Windows 11 Dev Channel Build install. Like I said, unfinished software. This is not an official um, you know, finished software that you can play with. It has an expiring date. It's not a free ride to Windows 11 directly now you will have to continue and every week get new builds with new features it's a windows install every time so it's a long install in general uh, not everybody should go there if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching